Well, hello there, Tom Green, coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's XD goodness involves playing with auto animate. And I think it's a pretty neat feature. So what I've got here is a simple setup where I've got four icons basically set up on a circle. If I select the circle and just show you the border, you can see they're just sitting on the border of the circle or the stroke. So I've got them all set up. And basically what's going to happen is when I tap on her, she's going to rotate down and he's going to come in. And you can see that I've got the finished state of each one. So the first thing I want to do here, of course, is to take this group here, which I've called rotate, and take my people, these three, and of course pull their opacity back to zero. And then as I move through the artboard, you can see that all I'm doing is rotating the group. And they just rotate into place, which I think is pretty neat. So let's wire it up. So I'm just going to set this up so that if I tap on her, it comes over here. And I'm going to use a tap, auto animate, and I'm going to come over to the first artboard. I'll use the knees out, and that's good to go. And I just keep doing the same thing. And the thing I love about XD is it notice it just keeps the settings where you last left them. So you can just basically wire it up. Now what I want to do with this last one though is go back to the first artboard. Uh, let's see how that all worked. So if I tap on him, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So there you have it. How to use auto animate to almost create what I call like a little turntable effect with icons or whatever content you may have. And the whole key to this whole thing is just to group everything and then just play with the group.